By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to set yourself up for big scoring potential on James Bond Pinball. Alrighty, before we get started, we need to go over some of the most important parts to this game that you are going to see in the following gameplay. This includes noticing that missiles are a big part of this game and you have a missile at the very beginning of the game. Now, what is a missile? Well, simply put, a missile within James Bond just means that you can use your action button, which it's red, by the way, but you can use your action button in order to spot the most valuable shot in the game at that particular time. You also gain a missile every single time that you finish a mode in the game. Now this can be a villain mode or this can be a henchman mode. You can also get a missile via the martini shot, which is whenever you use the upper left hand flipper and you hit it up the side ramp, if it doesn't go all the way around but falls back down the right ramp, that will give you a missile and will give you a martini shot. Other points of interest in this game is that the left eject does light jetpack multiball locks on the left orbit. So anytime you go into that left eject, you get a little bit of progression going. On default settings, typically it's just one time in there and you have your third lock lit. As soon as you start this multiball, you want to make sure you hit it directly up the middle to lock in the value of your overall multiball. From there, it's also important to understand that the left orbit acts as a double jackpot. And as soon as you hit that shot, you will have your super jackpot lit on the far right hand side. Now, there are lots of different modes in this game, 24 to be exact. However, we're not really going to worry about that in this particular gameplay. We're just going to focus on understanding that the right ramp starts in villain modes. It's also very important to understand how the Bond women work within this game. Now, the Bond women act as playfield multipliers, and they're basically associated with different features of this game. These features include the left eject, the spinner, the rocket, the pops, the right orbit, the right eject. Within these shots, you need to hit them a certain amount of times. Now, once you do have a Bond woman qualified, you'll see the inserts start blinking on and off. The way that you collect the Bond women is by hitting the side loop. This in turn will make that insert go solid and it will also make your action button turn pink. So keep all that in mind, sit back and enjoy. If you have any questions at all, be sure and just drop them down below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And we are ready to start. So like I've been saying before, there's gonna be lots of things that happen during this gameplay. So we'll just try to keep it as basic as possible with this. Now, when you start out, you do have a missile automatically in the chamber. You use the action button in order to spot the most valuable shot on the game. And that action button will be red. And you also saw briefly, I had skill shots lined up, which just via the purple shots, you just hold up the left flipper and you hit any of those shots, you'll also get a missile with that. So, but that's neither here nor there. We started a mode on the right ramp, which is a Dr. No. And then we just fell into the jetpack right there, which automatically lights the left orbit for a multi-ball. Now this game is on default. Keep that in mind as well on some settings it may not be like that and just like we were mentioning before this gameplay is very messy very very messy so a lot of things that you want to do at the very beginning on ball one you want to get your multi balls lined up your jetpack i would probably even advise to start going after your rocket multi ball or your bird one which is via the stand-up target or the drop targets at the rocket however i don't do that so again it's, you see this gameplay, it's just to kind of show that even if you have a plan, sometimes the plan doesn't go according. So when that happens, you gotta make adjustments. And the adjustment that's being made right now is that I'm in a mode that's not really that great of a mode to be in with the villain mode, with Dr. No, just because the right orbit's lit for it, and I have to hit that, and then the dragon target up top, or I could hit the left eject, in which case on most copies, it'll pop it up to that bumper lane for an advance. Now we're in jetpack multi-ball. You want to immediately hit the center loop as fast as possible to lock in your value. That's what we did right here. And that's why we're locked in at 3 million, which is the max value currently for this first phase. We also want to hit, I believe it's five shots and that will light the left orbit for a double jackpot which we just hit right there. And that will immediately light on the far right, a super jackpot, which we just hit right there by rebounding from the sling. So again, lots of things going on. And what's gonna happen here in the background, you're gonna qualify women and you're gonna qualify Q branch modes also. And what that means is there's different shots on the play field and think of it like Avengers or Iron Maiden. If you're familiar with how those game rule sets work, 
basically you're going to hit all kinds of different shots out there and you hit them so many times three to five times each somewhere right around there you'll start to qualify different features of the game and that's why you see the bond women right now blinking in the middle that's why you see right now the far left bond woman is collected so that means if i hit the button right now i will be able to start a 2x playfield multiplier now if i drain right now i will lose that one bond woman but the other ones that aren't collected that are still blinking i will be able to uh to take those to the next ball now right here i did finish dr no and by finishing that you will notice on the lcd screen i now have two missiles so every time you finish a mode you get another missile so that's an important thing to understand or important concept to understand in this game also so we're going for a, another super right now that super is going to rove and unfortunately we drain out right there so let me go ahead and pause this real quick and what we just noticed right there is that the super on the far right was going to rove because i was missing the shot i didn't hit it immediately it would just start roving from right to left and whenever you get into this spot right here to where your your first jetpack is done it's very important to survey the play field if you can get under a trap and the things you want to survey is how many bond women do you have collected and how many bond women do you have currently lit or qualified? And the reason why this is important is because you've got to decide pretty quick whether or not you're going to risk a little bit or if you're going to go ahead and cash in when you can. And the way that you would cash in at this point and in this area, I think I'm somewhere around 140, 141 million is I have to make a decision whether or not I'm going to hit the right ramp to start another mode or if I want to go ahead and just start going up the middle, if I have my locks lit, try to collect lots, locks and try to just hit the side loop as well. Keep in mind that every single mode that you have with the villain and with the henchman, the henchman's at the side ramp, those will always be lit. You don't have to requalify those. So those are things to keep in mind. Q branch is also qualified as well on the far right. That would take me into... A potential phase one that I could play through and then get to a multi-ball, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to mainly focus on getting through multi-balls, trying to build up a multiplier because you don't have to play every single thing in this game in order to start getting points. All right, we're going to go ahead and restart it. And we're back on the left flipper. So I'm going to go ahead and start Rosa Kleb right here. And ideally at this spot, you'll see I go right out the middle and now I'm trying to collect my bond women. I got lucky right there going into the left eject and you'll notice my lock two or my second jetpack is now flashing on that left orbit. So again, it's, it's all about taking what the game gives you. And James Bond is very much that type of game that sometimes you can control what's happening via the pop bumpers and the gold finger target in order, in order to switch your modes. But a lot of times too, you just have to take what the game gives you. So in the pops right there, we actually got another Q branch qualified, although you cannot start a Q branch if you're in the middle of a mode. And the same with henchmen. And you do have to lock in a ball. So I did my jetpack lock too. And what I mean by that is you have to lock that before you can light your other lock. So now I can actually hit into the left eject and light my third lock. And as of right now, there's an argument that could be made at this point that I could seriously consider hitting that button and getting my 4X going. Now, I do have 5 and 6X out there potentially for a playfield multiplier with you see the two that are still blinking. So now I have another one collected right there. And now I have another jetpack lit. Again, this is all on default. You might be playing a different setting somewhere else to where it might take more shots, but if it's on default, it's usually just a couple of extra shots and you're there. And that's what is enjoyable, enjoyable about this game. You have to make certain decisions at certain points. A lot of risk reward comes in here. So now we start our second multi-ball. And at this point, like I was saying earlier, you could definitely decide to go ahead and take it. Now, one of the tactics I'm using right now is using my ball save to let the balls drain on purpose. The reason being is that that diverter is open on an auto plunge and I can get clean shots on that loop. So I have a potential for a 6x and then to lock in a 7x right here. And I also do have 4 million points locked in for my jackpots because I hit it right up the middle as soon as I start the multi ball. 
All right, so ball save is out. Now we got to get back under control. Got to make decisions. We're going to elect to go for the double jackpot, get the super, and then immediately try to collect the Bond Woman. So right here, this is a really good spot. If you can get the 7X right here, you're in a really good spot. The reason being, you have automatically, and there's the 7X. If I hit that button, I have 30 seconds of ball save time immediately and 70 plus seconds of 7X play field. And I'll tell you, those timers will stop a lot of the time. So you actually get more than 70 seconds whenever using your play field multiplier. And you'll see these scores just really start to go up pretty quick. And the value gets up there. So don't be afraid to use your play field multipliers early to put pressure on, especially if you're in tournaments. I don't know if I'd advise going for 7X unless you're just, you like to gamble or you know you absolutely have to score 2 billion plus points. That'd be basically the only times I would recommend even trying to do this. We're at 28 million a shot now. And at the same time, if you are on ball one, nothing wrong with laying down the hammer too. If you feel confident that if you happen to accidentally mess it up, you still got two balls to work with. So very important to understand. All right, so our double's lit now. And I used a missile right there to get that double. You can do that, but then you have to actually hit the super jackpot. So that's what happened right there. So if you're trapped up on the left, be sure and use that missile. There's nothing wrong with doing that as well. It's all about knowing where you're at in the game. And hopefully by watching this, it, everybody out there starts to get a feel of where they're at in the game and what they're seeing. But just like that, we are above 1 billion, and it's just about 8-9 minutes into this gameplay with 7x still running. And we have another double right there, going to be worth 56, and we have another super, hopefully we can get there. I actually don't remember if I do it or not. Okay, yeah, we did, for 175 right there. So that's just to give a prime example. If you're hitting shots, and yes, you do have to be accurate, you do need to hit your shots. But it's fair to say that anybody out there, as long as you have an idea of what to do, 300, 400, 500 should be attainable for anybody out there under a default setup. It's just about knowing what to do. What I fully recommend is to use that jetpack early on just to hit shots, find shots. You'll also end up getting your, your play field multipliers. You'll end up getting those built up. You'll be able to collect women. You'll be able to get your Q branch qualified. There's a lot of good things that happen by utilizing Jetpack early on and by just basically jamming out in the game because the game definitely wants you to get progression. Everything you do in this game is aimed at getting progression throughout the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure and just leave them down below. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.